Listen, I'm disappointed for my boys. I, I genuinely am because any mistake we make, we're getting punished for. And I understand completely that that's levels of football where the quality increases in the mistakes you make, you will get hurt. Um, but for me, so many positives to know. We didn't deserve to lose the game at all. Um, no, listen, it's a tough one to take, but we know we're learning on the job. We genuinely are. Others will be looking at it thinking, oh, look at them, look, look, it's a, it's a step too high. No, it's not. Not, not in a million years, it's not. Um, we'll understand judges after 10 games and we'll judge ourselves after the next 10 games after that. But for now, this is what we signed up for. This is what we wanted. We wanted these big crowds. We wanted these fantastic arenas. And, and for us, listen, I'm never happy when I lose the most miserable man ever. Um, but today, I'm seeing enough. I'm seeing enough today. Um, but we need to increase what we're giving from 60 minutes, it needs to be done for 90 minutes um, and we need to learn to see games out. Because it, it had the same pattern as Saturday, we went 1-0 up half time and then arguably you knew they were going to come at us. we got to get the second goals. Look, at any level of football you've got to take games away from teams and we're not doing that at the minute. Um, we salvaged the point against Chesham, we've been beat Saturday against a team that I didn't think were better than us. Um, and on another day at half time, we should have been 3 0 up. But that's the ruthlessness and, and the ruthlessness in both boxes. Today, we've been, we weren't ruthless in one box and we, we weren't ruthless in the other. And I say to my teams every, every team talk, you've got to be decisive in both boxes. Your season depends on how good you are in both boxes. And, and at the minute, we're not 100% in one and we're certainly not 100% in the other. But listen, it's work in progress. As I said, we're learning on the job. We'll be in on Thursday um, and we'll try to right the wrongs from tonight. Um, but for me, there's a lot of positives. This group will stick together, this group will learn, uh, and we will win games. Nice to be home. We've had two away trips now, but it'd be nice to be back at Belay for on Saturday. Yeah, listen, tonight and another 3G, back-to-back -back 3Gs. This was a different environment to Beaconsfield, massively. Um, and I think we enjoyed playing here, even though we've been beat. Um, but yeah, listen, Blyville for me, it, it has to be major fortress. And if you're going to do anything in this league, top half finishes, call it what you like, whatever, whatever we will achieve, You've got to make sure your home form is is critical and potent. And and any point away from the away away on the road is massive. We just said that to the lads then. Like at, at 65 minutes, you ain't got to win the game. You're away from home at a level that you've never played before. Protect what you've got. If it's if it's three points, brilliant. If it's if it's one point, just as good. Um, but yeah, Saturday. Yeah, it's an important game. Back amongst our own fans. Back in familiar surroundings. And yeah, listen, that wins. It's, it's, it's coming and it will come uh, and, and hopefully it, it's recorded on Saturday. I know you want to get on Lee but finally we've got to mention Jared Lewinson on the score sheet tonight and uh, on loan with us now. Yeah he's a goal scorer. Jared's come um, as, uh, as, as a loan which hopefully if all parties agree and it goes well may become a permanent. Obviously there's a lot to be spoken about for that to happen but listen Jared gives you presence which we felt we didn't have leading up to that um, he's proven at this level he's a goal scorer we've shown tonight he's had one chance he's put it away and hopefully that's the start of more to come for him but but for me listen he'll, he'll be a real good addition to this group again he, he knows his way around this level as good as anyone and, and he'll help his team build on what we feel we've already got to help us secure the wins that we need thanks Lee. cheers